Kia ora. I'm Deborah Hall, and I'd like to introduce you to KiwiNet. KiwiNet exists to support our universities and research institutions in transforming clever Kiwi science into real world outcomes for New Zealand, because we believe that science will save the world. We're owned by all these institutions, universities and research institutes across the motu who have come together in a beautiful collaboration to support each other and pull resources to commercialize research coming through their publicly funded research programs. KiwiNet has been going for about 10 years. And in the past two years alone, we've supported almost 350 projects with just over $10 million in pre-seed accelerator funding. In those two years, these institutions have spun out 15 startup companies. For early stage investors amongst you like me, this is where our deep tech investment pipeline comes from, but we can do more. One of our biggest barriers to getting science out into the real world is that our scientists simply don't understand the commercial world. They live in a research bubble where success is measured in patents and publications where commercialization is sometimes even a dirty word. KiwiNet has found a way to change that. Our emerging innovator program um, launched in 2015 has transformed the thinking of nearly 80 scientists thus far through a small intervention focused on joining the dots between their ideas and discoveries and the markets and customers that will use them. And that's where you come in. Our existing funding enables us to fund just 15 emerging innovators each year. A drop in the bucket if you consider that there are over 8,500 research scientists in our institutions. If just 10% of those could be transformed into the next scientific entrepreneurs, it would take us 50 years or more to reach them. And so I'm asking for your help. These are a few examples of what's been achieved. And these are some of our research entrepreneurs that have been created through the KiwiNet Emerging Innovator Program. People like Andrew, who have unraveled the mysteries of how insects smell to create a device that smells and tastes different chemicals. Aaron, who created a process to clean up the galvanizing waste streams, recovering excess zinc in the process, a discovery which won the Callahan Innovation C Prize for environmental impact. And Swati's digital program that's enabling autistic children to connect and communicate with their caregivers. I need your help to create more Andrews, more Aarons, and more Swatis, and more Andreas. Our Pledge Me campaign has just two weeks left to run, seeking to increase the number of emerging innovators we fund in 2022. All donations are welcome. It takes $25,000 to transform a clever Kiwi scientist into a science superhero intent on creating real world impact. Thank you to my angel investor friends and colleagues and others who have already contributed. Please help me spread the word. We have just two weeks to meet our minimum goal of funding two extra emerging innovator grants next year. My goals for the campaign were much loftier than that. But with being locked at home in Auckland, it's meant that my plans for visiting every angel investor group, every early stage VC across New Zealand have been scuttled. So we're behind where we hope to be. But our clever re Kiwi researchers are still waiting, still in their labs, waiting for your help to support them in becoming entrepreneurial scientists. Head over to pledgeme.co.nz, search for KiwiNet, and watch the video of Jed Finch's incredible construction solution that is solving the huge problem of building waste and add your contribution to our mission to support science that will change the world. Thank you for listening.